I was trying to re-record my song, um, Survival Horror, but literally every time I try to record uh, the harmony part, uh, there are sounds, so it's just, like a little too much. I mean, like people honking outside and stuff, so I'm upside down. <laughs> Instead, I thought it might be nice to share some real hacks that I use um, on a regular basis. They're not fake little online hacks or anything. They're things that I actually do. The very first idea are spinach cubes. Have you ever bought those blocks of frozen spinach and you're like, I don't want to have a whole side of spinach. You... One sec. The idea is to cut them up into cubes, maybe like cubes of nine, cubes of whatever you want basically. And pack those up separately, put them in the freezer, and whenever you want just a little spinach in your pasta, or you want a little spinach in something just to add that iron, throw a cube in, into the boiling water, into whatever you want, into the cheese. So, wow, this is really spread out. We don't like always using a whole ton of spinach. My husband doesn't eat that much. Uh, you know when you're making chicken cutlets? M my family, we just did egg and breadcrumbs. Um, if you do other stuff, you know, Power to you, you probably make the best chicken cutlets ever. These are just the ones that we're used to and we like. So my mom would dip them in egg, and then they, she would dip them in breadcrumbs. And I remember one day when I was making them at home, I felt like, this is annoying. So I threw all the chicken cutlets in a big bowl and cracked one or two eggs, depending on the batch I had, I think it was one that time, over the whole thing and just mixed it all together and it worked out great. So. Little tip there, just as long as you get the egg on all of the chicken, that at least skips the step of having to individually do each chicken um, with the egg at least. I wouldn't suggest that with the breadcrumbs, that gets a little weird. Uh, I have tried all that. Um, you can do it like shake and bake style, but it gets a little, you're better off just dipping in my opinion. Just my opinion. Um, this one is if you have, well, he doesn't mind anymore. If you have a child who did not like the vacuum at first, but now he doesn't mind it, but you don't want to wake him up sometimes when you're like, oh, we need to vacuum. Um, this seems like a silly hack. This is more like a buy this thing, but it's something that we had around when I was younger. And I'm just surprised that they kind of aren't used as much these days. <laughs> this is a, like a push vacuum and it's just... It does the basic stuff, but it really is helpful for a lot of the basic stuff when you just can't whip out the big vacuum and you don't want to plug something in. I bought I bought that one, I want to say a few years ago, and great, greatest thing. So helpful. I do have on like an Instagram picture or something. I'm gonna see if I could find it. If you have a crop shirt, if you're me and for some reason you bought a shirt that not like this, but a little bit shorter, but it, it was just short in the wrong way because of my figure or something. Just, it doesn't, doesn't look right. Um, crop it more. Just an option. What you can do is crop it more like right under your chest and wear it like a tank underneath and now it's just a new shirt. Simple. <laughs> do that with hoodies. Those cropped hoodies that were all over the place a while back, that was so annoying for me because I did not want a cropped hoodie. I just wanted a hoodie. But there was one, I believe it was like a Target clearance thing, of course, because I used to do a lot of that. And I saw it and I was like, oh, I really like this hoodie. And it was super cheap, so I bought it. And then when I put it on at home, it was just sitting in the wrong spot, but I didn't want to get rid of it because I liked it otherwise. And I only, I want to say months ago, that's how I tried to make some face masks. I, I cut them, I cut it a little bit lower. And so what ended up happening is I put it over t-shirts and it looked great. I like the way it looked. I like the way it looked. Mm -hmm. Another hack that I actually use, the one that I did have wasn't so great. I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did. But if you have a good one, um, you know those egg slicers that just have those like little wires down the middle? You can slice your egg. Um, some people don't even know about them, but sometimes they come in sets of things where you're just like, I don't need an egg slicer. If you like to slice your bananas, if you like to slice your mushrooms, anything soft like that, that is perfect. Helped me out quite a few times. Um, here's another hack I can actually show you. If you have a tiny kitchen like we do, and you're running low on space, and you're just like, I don't know where to put things, uh, you can try under cabinets. 
we have a little tension rod, which is kind of sagging at this point. I should probably get something a little more permanent. But for now, uh, we've had these for a couple years, and I put some hooks, and we put measuring cups and measuring spoons. That's it. That's the hack. Um, another thing with recipes is recipe frames. If you have recipes that you use a lot of, um, I should actually change this out. We haven't used this in quite some time. Oh, um, this one's very much like a, I am Pinterest, but I'm not. I just kind of get the idea from seeing things like that, is making your own. Instead of making a cork board and putting pinholes in your child's art or things you don't want to put pinholes in, um, I used a frame and some burlap that I had and, and some twine and I did this, basically. And, you know, obviously you don't need the lights, that's just for now because we're bored. And, um, clothespins. As you can see, none of his stuff is getting holes through it. And neither is Riker. Riker does not need a hole. Um, even though calendars have a hole on top, but whatever. If you're a collector of some sort, you probably wouldn't think this was useful but if you're someone who just has some old magazines or has some old stuff and you just want to make sure that they're in something you know those old you know those plastic things that you get sh bed sheets in yeah they hold magazines really well that's all i'm saying <laughs> um i've got cracked and mad magazines in here and i probably should put them in something better but they were already not in i'm not a collector i just really liked mad <laughs> I just do random things like this all the time. As a matter of fact, my son is in school virtually and the way he's a very visual kid. So I even made, this was an old cork board we had and instead of using pins or anything, this is burlap. I just stuck it on, you see with tape. I didn't try to make it cute. Um, with burlap, um, anyone who's seen my hacks with Randy videos, then you've probably seen this anyway with the letters on them. That's what this is. It's just, it was a cork board and now it has burlap on it. So I can do things like this. Here's another hack for anyone who's trying to make something for their child and doesn't really know what to do. Here's a, here's a cute little idea I came up with just because my son was singing bingo all the time. Um, every time one of the letters changes to a clap, there you go. Clap. So that's it. I'm sure there's other stuff. I do things like this all the time where I make things that don't need to be made easier, easier. And um, sometimes it's helpful and sometimes it's like, you didn't need to do that. You gave me something to do, I did it. I'm trying to grow some avocado seeds right now. Um, I don't know why I said that, but I did. And I just wanted to make this video because it's been a long time since I've recorded something and I've been wanting to share uh, some of these hacks for anyone who's just like, you know, there's a lot of Pinteresty stuff and things like that. I can't, I can't relate to any of that. I can't do things like that. I don't do things like that. So my stuff is very, it's such basic stuff. You break it down, it's basic. You see those, those leaves on there. It's like, why are there leaves on your wall? Because I like them there. <laughs> because I got them from Dollar Tree as placemats. And I was like, you know, I don't want these just out for fall. They're felt and they're on my wall. Do you think I care? <laughs> Look at my hair. <laughs> anyway, if you find that a cabinet or something you have gets messy every once in a while because you don't know where things go, you, you might want to say, oh, you know, I, but I label all the jars and containers. You can label the shelves too. That's what I do. Um, at first it was like, here's the salty stuff, here's the sweet stuff. And then it just became snacks and snacks because they weren't 50-50, it, it wasn't working out. Um, and then I have teeth stuff and pain stuff and cold stuff. The other hack I just wanna say is don't care so much about what other people think. Don't care about what other people think so much if you're not hurting anybody. And if you want to do something to your home and you're like, but people don't usually do that. Home, you do have to think about if you're ever gonna sell the house down the line, if you're gonna fix what you did, if you're not willing to do that, just think about that. But if it's just decoration, our house looks like a colorful, crazy mess. Somebody threw up on it with crayons, right? Sometimes. And my son loves it. And it's good for him visually. Oh yeah, by the way, that was another, I made that thing. Um, Santa wasn't originally on it, but he is now. Uh, I got these cute little keychains uh, online. I got this string. 
This is one of those, uh, what is it called? Cross, is it cross stitch? I want to say that's a cross stitch, one of those loops. And then I got these little charms meant for, uh, making jewelry and stuff. So basically, and ribbon. So, mobile. I wanted mushrooms for Mario. Mushrooms. So, uh, if you want to be a colorful, crazy mess, if you want to have your kitchen all white, just as long as it's something that you really want, because I feel like you'll love it more if you really want it and you stop thinking, this will look good in a picture. This will look great and blah, blah, blah. If you're like, I like that. Then who gives a f All right, so I'm gonna go now and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hear people say it helps to find someone. I would like you to like, comment, and or subscribe if you like this video. And if you feel like you know somebody who would like this video, share it. Because I would love some like-minded people. I would, even some diverse people. I would just like people who have the same morals as me. I'm just saying I don't want racist people following me. That's what I'm really saying. No racist, thank you. So anyway, um, Black Lives Matter. Again, I'm going to say it because it's important. And... Have a great day. Bye.